for us? Why do they think they know, think they can make the decision for us? They walk into our classrooms for one day and think they know us. They think that we don't care about education and it always comes back to stereotypes. Many of us are people of color and that makes them think that we don't care. And this is racism. Our intelligence is... <laughs>
guys. Us standing out here in the cold ain't gonna do no difference. It's gonna be real because this guy came outside, talked to us, stood outside for five minutes, didn't do anything about it. We're gonna go back to school and say things up, keep going. The only way for this to work is we gotta talk to people. When I say I want people outside, I want people outside. I don't wanna stay here and talk to the mayor, talk about I gotta go to a meeting. You gotta go to no meeting. <laughs> We didn't talk to somebody, I mean, we were talking about the commissioner over there, talking about, oh, it's the commissioner's fault, it's the commissioner, so go talk to the commissioner, where's he at? I mean, you talk to people, I mean, we go to school, and we see all these teachers, you know, and they say they're going to do this and that, and they don't do it. Okay, so y'all are scared that they're going to take away graduation and stuff like that. I ain't scared. You don't care. Why are you here? My name is Desmond Whalen. I'm a student at UMass and I'm here to support Boyokai. I once went to Boyokai. Uh huh. And so, what's what's happening today that you're aware of? So, we're opposing the state takeover. The decision's going to be made tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. And the students have no voice in it. And um, people representing Boyokai aren't going to even be at the decision making process now. To see if the state's going to take over. To take over the, the whole year of high school. Yeah. So, so you're here supporting Holyoke being it's in charge of itself? Yeah. Yeah, that you don't want to stay take over. Yeah, they, I mean, as students, they're the ones being directly affected, so they should have a voice in what decision making process. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so. So you dare to care. Who are you and what do you care about? I'm Sean Antunes and I'm here to protest the state taking over my school. The state, the state takes over and it'll be like uh, longer school days, more work, stricter rules, no uniforms. And I think that's the biggest key is the uniforms. It takes away from um, people's uniqueness. And I, you know, if everyone's dressed the same, it's not the same, you know? Just, we're just like every other school. Yeah. And Holyoke has a sense of pride and uh, commitment. We're not all the same. For them to be like, well, everybody's gonna get the same test scores and everybody has to be exactly. the same. They're worried about the, their big. Well, 20 tests at one time, that doesn't mean we're stupid. Exactly. exactly. But my intelligence shouldn't be defined off a letter grade test. Definitely. That's it. Like, I shouldn't exactly. have to take five, more, five, five tests, tests to graduate than high than school. Mm -hmm. We're way more. A, 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 test, isn't, a, a test exactly. isn't gonna matter or three years from now. Who we are. It um, I mean, it, so, so it, why did you get involved in this? How did you get involved in this struggle? We care enough about we our, care about our, our schools. schools and stuff. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I want my younger brothers and sisters, my cousins, my nieces, like them in the future, I don't want them to struggle the way I did in high school. Uh -huh. I want them to go in and know that they're going to get an actual education and not have to worry about taking five tests to graduate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why mm -hmm. I got involved. So you think the School Board of Education may, may learn something from you? I hope they do. Yeah. I hope they do. I mean... Yeah. I want, I want at least something to come out of this. So um, I'm, I'm doing this for, for my local cable television, but um, I was just in Detroit where the state has taken over the school board of Detroit and they now call themselves the school board in exile. And, uh, and I think that they will be encouraged to hear what students like you are doing in Holyoke because there are so many similarities. Um, could you just tell me your names? Desiree Rodriguez. Rosa Bo Velasquez, Gloria Gonzalez, Amanda Gonzalez. So, uh, so you were speaking earlier at the rally, and uh, were you surprised that the mayor came out? Actually, I, I really was. I didn't think he was gonna come out. Uh huh. But it was I, I'm glad he did. I'm glad he pointless. came out, but it was really pointless of him coming out because he didn't. He didn't help us at all. Yeah, he, he just came they out. Felt like he was taking it as a joke. He was taking it as a joke, and I feel like. Finally, the students are saying something and we're speaking up and we're trying to show them that we care about our education and they're not taking us serious. And especially coming from him that he did attend Holyoke, it's like he should he have should know an idea how it is. of how it is and what we really are fighting for. So, so how do you do this? Do you, do you have other people, other, other students in other schools who are in the same situation that you yeah, are? Charter. Yeah, there's all, all the schools, all the schools and all that. Yeah. Are all, we're all the same. Like they, they, we all struggle. Of course, you know, no school is perfect, obviously. Sure. But I mean, I don't think we're that bad to be taken over. 
I know. mean, I was, I've been here all three years, and I personally think it has gotten better little by little. Yeah. I mean, it's a process, you know, it's not gonna happen overnight, but we have been progressing, in my opinion. I mean, what you're saying is exactly what I heard a school board member in Detroit say. She's right on the same page with you. She says, you know, it's it's not test scores that determine how good a, an education is. Exactly. That different people have different learning styles, different people have different talents. We do. Some are better at some subjects than others, and some are stronger. It's, you know, it's our strength, and we shouldn't be brought down for the, our weaknesses. Exactly. Yeah. So how, how are your teachers? Are your teachers supporting you? Our teachers, some are. Some, some, are. some teachers are supportive. And some are just scared, because obviously the, the state, the, I don't know, maybe they're manipulating them. I don't know. But there's a lot of teachers that are scared, and we have the right to stand up for us as students and the teachers. teachers. So we care that much. Yeah. So, so you have more power in a sense than the teachers do. Yeah. Yes, the teachers yeah. are more afraid than you are. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because, huh? because I mean, they have consequences. We really don't. We're they just have families up. to take care of, and they have, they, that's yeah. their job. Yeah. So. Yeah. And they're being threatened to yeah. and lose their jobs and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it shouldn't be that way. They have a voice the same way we have a voice and the same way they think they can take us over. So maybe you're the new wave of real democracy in America. I hope. I hope.